Identifying BIOS Components Before we go any further, we need to take care of fundamental vocabulary and understand what BIOS is and what its purpose is. The BIOS stands for Basic Input-Output System, and it's officially called firmware, and that firmware initializes all of the hardware components inside your personal computer. And as you see it right, we have an open tower case, and if you don't recognize any of the components in there now, hang on, you will over time, you will see your skills improve as you work through this learning path. This particular case does not have a motherboard in it, it's empty on that side, but it looks like we have fans, we have a hard drive mounted, there's a power supply down there, and a whole bunch of accessory bays up in the upper right. When the computer turns on during what's called a cold boot, how does the system know what to boot from, whether it's the DVD drive or one of many hard drives that may be attached to the system or a USB key? BIOS is what presents those options to the user. By the way, firmware is sort of a waypoint or an in-between point between hardware, which is the stuff you can touch, like in this picture, the hard drive, the power supply, and software, which is code that runs and performs some function or purpose. Well, software, you probably know, you can install and uninstall just as easy on your computer or your smartphone or whatever. Firmware is software that's encoded onto the hardware such that it's more permanent. And we're going to see that with something as foundational as BIOS, you do want that information to persist over time. Finally, a cold boot is where the computer is starting from completely off, and the boot up process will generally take a little bit longer than if you do just say a restart, because the first thing the BIOS does is perform a series of self-tests called the power on self-test or post, and that is where the BIOS firmware probes out and makes sure that it understands how much RAM is there, whether there's a keyboard attached, where the disks are, and which disk is marked for booting, and so forth. Now, I said that the basic input-output system is software that's written to the CMOS chip, and it becomes firmware at that point. And you're probably wondering, okay, Tim, great, what's CMOS stand for? Let's cover that next.